Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. You're about to watch an Artist Alley vlog that was formerly uploaded on my old YouTube channel. But unfortunately that YouTube channel got deleted during a transfer that went wrong, so I've decided to re-upload them to this channel. I'm going to put the original year and date that it was uploaded in the description if you would like to see when the convention took place. All of these Artist Alley vlogs occurred before I became Spiced Illustrations, so there will be different studio names shown throughout the videos. However, it's still me and I still wanted to re-upload them and share them with you all because I figured they might be helpful if anyone's looking into tabling at a con or wants to learn anything about it. I'm hoping that you still find them super helpful or just for pure entertainment. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a look into my past artist alleys. up at Texas Latino Comic Con. I had to come in early because I had to, I'm in charge of the Arcelli so I had to make sure people are in line. But I got the table set up in time and I have, of course, a new setup, of course. Kelly, oh, Kelly's getting in trouble with the police. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> doing her panel thing. I'm manning the booth. Uh, it's really good so far today. Having a fun time. Um, uh, actually, so just chilling and someone comes up to me and goes, hey man, saw you from YouTube. Are y'all filming today? So like, I felt like I had to pull off the camera and start filming, but uh, things are going really well. The crowd's already building up. It's kind of crazy because the roads in front of the building are actually closed because of that uh, horrible Dallas crane incident where the crane fell in the apartment building that actually is right outside of the cultural center here but still people are showing up everyone's having a good time we're having a good time and again Ellie will be back in just a little bit so as we number the one to four I'm gonna tell you each little thing we're gonna be thinking about for number one we're gonna introduce your hero or your villain whichever you choose so go ahead and write introduction that's where you're gonna be thinking about how are you gonna introduce your character It was so well attended and everyone was so nice. Oh my god, it was so fun. It makes me want to teach, like really bad. <laughs> but oh my god, it went so well. I'm back at the table, um, back to cell. I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the day. I don't have any more workshops or anything. Uh, but we're gonna have fun now. Yay! Oh my god, everything's going so well. <laughs> Look at my family wearing my shirts. <laughs> Yay! Family! Family! Is that a new banner behind you? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And, like, I know, like, you can totally tell there's like comic sketches in the background. Yeah. Stars. Wow. You're so talented. So cool. <laughs> Kelly coming through with craft services. Hey. Kelly. Kelly. Kelly 2020. 2020. Kelly 2020. Does your con have a Kelly? If not, then it's not a real con. <laughs> Kelly Con 2020. Kelly Con 2020. How would you call it? Pasole break. Pasole break. Pasole Show. So I'm happy about that. Um, 
but yeah, crowds are like there's consistently people walking around. So that's good. Yeah. Which is okay, but that's, it's the cosplay contest. You know, every time a cosplay contest happens, we get a lull. Um, but it's going super well. Right now, um, since it's at a lull, I'm doing a little sketching at the table. I'm drawing my D and D character. Yeah, I wanted to have an official uh, art piece of her, so when we play, I can have her, so people know what she looks like. But yeah, this is my D and D character right now. Her name is Emma Bink Cogbonk. And she is a gnome wizard. Uh, I was like, I want to play a gnome. And she has a chipmunk uh, companion. And yeah, that's my character. <laughs> so far, so good. Everyone's been so nice. And oh my god, I just this con always goes well for me. And I'm not just saying that as a bias because like I help. But, oh god, the people are so friendly. The, all the artists here, like we all support each other. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, two forty-three. So we've got about. Uh, three three hours left. I can't do math. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of sketching right now that I've got a little time. It's kind of been so busy I haven't been able to. Um, but yeah. So debuting the redesign of my shirt, my Goncha shirt. Goncha wish your culture was hot like mine. So yeah. The con's over. I forgot to vlog the end of it, but yeah, everyone's gone already. <laughs> packed what up. Happens when you're busy till the end, Dahlia. Yeah, we were we were busy, so we're all packed up, and it was a good show. It was a great show. I'm really glad we can do this show. Um, I have a bag full of stuff. Um, I'm gonna do a haul video, but not right now because we're we're gonna go to after party um, and do all that. But yeah, I'm gonna film the haul and it's gonna start right now. <laughs> Alright, so this is post con vlog. Um, I'm actually, I actually just got home from the Texas Latino Comic Con after party and I'm drunk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my haul video right now because I'm happy and confident. Not that I need alcohol or any of that. All right, so first, I'm gonna start with an art trade that I got from another artist. Focus. So, all right, here we go. I got a little Spider Gwen sketch card, but it's so cute. So I got to do an art trade. Oh, and I got a Tex Latino Comic Con sticker. These were printed by uh, Hash Productions. He's also the one who did my banner. And so he makes stickers, and I got a sticker. I ended up getting a shirt, and this is from the girls at Chicle, the zine. Look at this coolness. Isn't that neato? It says, Viva la Mujer, which means, uh, hell yeah, women. Not really translated, but roughly. Basically, it's a woman power shirt. It's pretty, I love this color palette. It's very pretty. And this, this is from Studio Longoria. She makes a bunch of, like, really cute art um, that's culture-based. And so I ended up getting a little zipper pouch. And it's a taco truck because you all know how serious I am about my tacos. But look, it's got a little handle. She's got a little custom tag with her logo. And then look at the zipper pull. It's also a taco truck. And then I got a little scrunchie because y'all know that I'm bringing scrunchies back and I've been wearing them a lot, especially when I'm working at the studio. And this one has cats all over it because I love cats. All right, this next one is from Gabby Ramirez who is an illustrator who makes really, really amazing things. I got a Sailor Moon mini print because y'all know that I collect Sailor Moon art uh, for my side of the bedroom. Um, so yeah, I got a Sailor Moon mini print and then she had sticker sheets because I love stickers. All right, so I got one that has like a bunch of magic witchy things. 
super adorable because I love witches and stuff. And the other one, she has one that, oh God, this color palette's so cute. And these are her original characters and designs. And look, it's just so pretty. I got to meet the comic artist, Crystal Gonzalez. She was actually sitting across the way from me. And I got her comics in the dark. And her art is super like horror based. Like, oh, let me find this. Like, it's so pretty. Yeah, so it's very macabre. And it's super cool. Oh my god. So I got her first and second issues. Um, and then for that I ended up getting a little mini print and look! It looks like a little classic cartoon with her characters. Oh and next, Dianita. Oh my god, she finally finished her sombra thing. I've been like rooting for her to finish this. This is so cute. Oh my god, look at it! She's so cute and she's got all the little Mexican dolls just like I have one in my studio. And oh my god. Look at her, it's so gorgeous. So there's an artist um, who went and helped uh, Gonzalo, his name is Emmanuel, and he, I ended up letting him borrow um, my hand truck to help load something, and he ended up giving me this poster print of his art as a thank you, like, oh my God, look at this. This is so awesome, like just as a thank you. But yeah, that's my Texas Latino Comic Con haul. I. Oh my god, the fact that there was so much talent and creative amazingness, like, oh. I want to thank everyone who came by my table to say hi. I want to thank everyone who came to the show, everyone who came to my workshop panel. It was, it was a good day. My next con is Anime Fest, which is here in Dallas. So I'll see you for that one. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Bye!